what's right front of you is the hot front page of all the services and as well um, social welfare in Australia and that's how many programs payments we have to go through from there and down there it will be up to here that's a lot of services and what I'm gonna tell you right now is um, this is the one of the main reason why the Western civilization cannot keep up with this sort of that much of social welfare yes we are first world country yes we are poor country yes we are service country yes we are tourism country yes we are mining country but this it just gets bigger and grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and businesses is just shrink 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 and it's just pours more and the tax the wage earners and the tax to you know generate not as large pool as before now obviously you guys saying well technology or you guys been saying you know going you know uh, globalization offshore the jobs to third world countries you can say whatever you want but at the end of the day this cannot sustain now I'm not saying I'm bashing all these people I'm not bashing all of them what I'm trying to say the Western civilization cannot sustain because this for example right you know divorce or not divorce they have to go for family tax A and B single parenting or um, well, they can't say single parenting they've got parenting payment multiple birth allowance hmm, in Australia it's pretty good we even even have newborn payments you know um, parental leave scheme it can, that makes more sense that's maternity dad and partner pay I don't know what is that childcare subsidy that's more of the children's life that's that makes more sense in a parenting payment you know double orphan pension uh, you got you got age pension which is uh, you know retirement pension you got wife pension what is a wife pension widows pension loss and grief allowance then you got disability support makes sense sickness allowance I did not know mobility allowance you got carers payment yeah that's you know this is makes sense you got Oz study which is me who moved out and study uh, with no longer live with my parents you got app study indigenous study makes more sense pension education supplement assistance for isolated child scheme you got student allowance which is we call it youth allowance we got unemployment allowance which we call it new start allowance partner allowance gosh this is a lot a widow's allowance farm household allowance and this makes more sense special benefit crisis benefit remote area allowance concession card we even got rent assistance energy supplement so pretty much utility bills and there has the income test or asset test or uh, mean tests and you know yada 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 and the government is trying to shrink in the pool makes it more difficult to obtain um, one or more of these um, allowance or pension or schemes or whatever so they trying to make as unappealing as much as they can make it very very hard to make the pool even smaller but population growth is this big and you know as you guys know globalization we living in a technology society service this country is service mining tourism country we do not manufacture much at all even if we do one of the bits of pieces that's not sustain 55 million people and um, the reason why I'm making this video is saying that the Western civilization cannot sustain with that much this is too much to go through and obviously some of them are deserving and undeserving group and I'm not going to talk about that what I'm trying to say this is beyond bizarre this is too much I know China will be probably like five or six you know that's probably maximum they have when I go to China you know for the last two years just once a year I could see how modern how much infrastructure has been input where the Western world could not afford because quarter of their taxes or half the taxes is going towards this and this cannot sustain for too long because anything could happen now last 
Friday, Melbourne, where I'm living now, Australia. There's a terrorist attack, a claim to be terrorist. Now government is trying to fork out one billion dollars to monitor 400 um, terrorist lists, potential lists, to monitor their actions. So reduce, you know, another incident as what has happened last Friday. Where is this? This money is coming in and out. I'm not bashing on you know refugees or anything like that, but this is too much for a country to go through. And quarter of the taxes, so in the future, will be half the taxes <laughs> will go towards this. And the country is getting poorer and poorer and poorer. Infrastructure is not up to the date. We've got mass populations coming through as Melbourne, not last year. Not this year, sorry. I say that as a livable city in the world, it have been winning for seven, eight years, and everyone wants to come to this country. I'm not bashing all that. All I'm saying is that this is not sustainable. It's not. I'm sorry, but like, this is the one of the reasons why Western civilization, and you know, um, weakens the people thinking that the social security things like that. Um. That's being said, I do not blame all of them, but what I'm trying to say, there's a reason why people wanted Trump or people reason why they wanted Nigel Farage or people reason why, like certain people that fortunately claim as right wing or alt right wing. So, what I'm trying to say here is it's unrealistic to go through all that, but boy, that's a lot. This can be generational, where I've been studying in my course, it can be generational, it can be not. So, government making it tougher, blaming on individuals that you're bad of citizen because you're getting on welfare, blah, blah, blah. And it's not helping out, and, you know, as government is trying to flag employment rate at the same time. So, we are over committing. Um, we are over promising delivering the human right. Because... You know, you got all this. Everyone has a fair go, fair chance. And if they're in a crisis or they need, they need help. Fair enough. But you know, once you over-promise the human rights stuff, then government's trying to, you know, running out of cash. They decide to reduce or cutting funds certain areas or programs or payments or not increasing at all. And this is where studies comes in and wanting us all university students go fight for the patriarchal fight against the power want more money more money money doesn't necessarily means you solve everyone's problem it does give them a better surviving rate for some people but some people has complex needs there's a reason why they fall into gaps like this maybe unemployed maybe they have debts there's so you know, homeless and stuff like that, you know, I just don't know, like, as a person for me who works in, you know, giving out food uh, for low income earners or just who's in crisis or homeless, it's tough. So that's about it. That's the video. Just a little bit to share to you guys.